Hello and welcome to our channel. Today, on World Malaria Day, we take a moment to remember the millions of people who are affected by this deadly disease every year. Malaria is a preventable and treatable disease, yet it still claims hundreds of thousands of lives each year, particularly in Africa. Malaria is a life-threatening disease caused by parasites that are transmitted to people through the bites of infected mosquitoes. In this video, we will discuss the causes and mode of action of malaria parasites, symptoms, and possible actions we can take to alleviate or eradicate malaria from amongst us. But first, let's take a look at some important statistics on malaria. According to the latest World Malaria Report, there were 247 million cases of malaria in 2021 compared to 245 million cases in 2020. The estimated number of malaria deaths stood at 619,000 in 2021 compared to 625,000 in 2020. Over the two peak years of the pandemic, 2020 to 2021, COVID-related disruptions led to about 13 million more malaria cases and 63,000 more malaria deaths. The WHO African region continues to carry a disproportionately high share of the global malaria burden. In 2021, the region was home to about 95% of all malaria cases and 96% of deaths. Children under 5 years of age accounted for about 80% of all malaria deaths in the region. Sub-Saharan Africa continues to bear the highest burden of malaria, accounting for approximately 94% of all malaria cases and deaths in 2019. For African countries accounted for just over half of all malaria deaths worldwide, Nigeria, 31.3%, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, 12.6%, United Republic of Tanzania, 4.1%, and Niger, 3.9%. 1. The economic impact of malaria is significant, with an estimated $12 billion in productivity losses and healthcare expenditures annually in Sub-Saharan Africa alone. 2. While significant progress has been made in reducing the burden of malaria in recent years, challenges remain in areas such as funding, access to healthcare, and drug resistance. 3. Insecticide-treated bed nets and indoor residual spraying have been effective in reducing malaria transmission in some areas, but more sustainable and long-term solutions are needed to eliminate malaria. 4. According to the WHO, in 2020, 24 countries reported no indigenous cases of malaria for three or more consecutive years, with seven of those countries certified as malaria-free by WHO. 5. The rollback malaria partnership estimates that between 2000 and 2020, global malaria deaths were reduced by 60%, with an estimated 1.5 billion cases and 7.6 million deaths averted due to malaria interventions. These statistics highlight the significant impact of malaria on global health and the need for continued efforts to combat this disease. Narrator, but there is hope. Over the years, Many organizations and governments have made significant progress in reducing the incidence of malaria. With the distribution of mosquito nets, indoor residual spraying, and increased access to effective malaria treatment, we are making strides towards a malaria-free world. Education and awareness are also critical in the fight against malaria, that's why Health Dorado is making this video. By teaching people about the importance of using mosquito nets, eradicating mosquito at individual level, wearing protective clothing, and seeking treatment early, we can reduce the burden of this disease. Malaria not only affects the health of individuals but also has a significant impact on economic development and education. By eliminating malaria, we can create a healthier and more prosperous world for all. Let's talk about malaria proper. Malaria is caused by a parasite called Plasmodium that is transmitted to people through the bites of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. When an infected mosquito bites a person, the parasite enters the bloodstream and travels to the liver, where it multiplies and eventually re-enters the bloodstream, attacking red blood cells. The parasites multiply rapidly in the red blood cells, 
causing them to burst and release more parasites into the bloodstream. This cycle can cause severe anemia, organ failure, and even death. Malaria symptoms can vary depending on the type of parasite that is causing the infection, as well as the individual's immune response. In some cases, symptoms may not appear until several weeks or even months after being bitten by an infected mosquito. Common symptoms of malaria include 1. Fever. A high fever is one of the most common symptoms of malaria. It can occur in cycles, with a sudden onset and then a gradual decrease in temperature over a few hours. 2. Chills. Along with fever, many people with malaria experience chills or shivering. This is a result of the body trying to raise its temperature to fight off the infection. 3. Headache. Malaria can cause severe headaches that are often accompanied by sensitivity to light and sound. 4. Muscle and joint pain. Malaria can cause muscle and joint pain, which can be severe and affect mobility. 5. Fatigue. Malaria can cause extreme tiredness and fatigue, making it difficult to carry out daily activities. 6. Nausea and vomiting. Malaria can cause nausea and vomiting, which can further weaken the body and make it difficult to keep food and fluids down. 7. Sweating. Malaria can cause excessive sweating, especially during fever episodes. 8. Anemia. In severe cases of malaria, the parasite can destroy red blood cells, leading to anemia. Symptoms of anemia may include shortness of breath, pale skin, and fatigue. 9. Jaundice. Malaria can also affect the liver and cause jaundice, which can result in yellowing of the skin and eyes. In severe cases, malaria can also cause complications such as seizures, coma, and organ failure. It is important to seek medical attention immediately if you experience any symptoms of malaria, especially if you have recently traveled to an area where malaria is common. Early diagnosis and treatment can help prevent serious complications and improve the chances of a full recovery. We already know that mosquitoes are responsible for transmitting and spreading malaria. However, there are some unknown facts about mosquitoes that might interest you. 1. Only female mosquitoes bite. Male mosquitoes feed only on plant nectar, while female mosquitoes need blood to lay eggs. 2. Mosquitoes are attracted to certain scents. Mosquitoes are attracted to certain scents, such as carbon dioxide, lactic acid, and sweat. 3. Mosquitoes can transmit diseases. Mosquitoes are known to transmit diseases such as malaria, dengue fever, and Zika virus. 4. Mosquitoes have a short lifespan. The lifespan of a mosquito is typically less than 2 months. 5. Mosquitoes can fly up to 25 kilometers per hour. Mosquitoes are fast flyers, and they can fly up to 25 kilometers per hour, 15 miles per hour. 6. Mosquitoes have been around for millions of years. Mosquitoes have been around for animals in the world. Mosquitoes are responsible for more human deaths than any other animal due to the diseases they can transmit. 8. There are over 3,500 species of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes come in many different shapes and sizes, and there are over 3,500 species of mosquitoes worldwide. 9. Mosquitoes are not attracted to light. Unlike other insects, mosquitoes are not attracted to light, but they are attracted to warmth and carbon dioxide. 10. Mosquitoes have a complex mating ritual. Mosquitoes have a complex mating ritual which involves the males forming swarms and the females choosing a mate based on their sound and odor. Malaria elimination and eradication are both important goals in the fight against malaria. Elimination involves reducing the incidence of malaria in a specific geographic area, while eradication involves completely eliminating malaria worldwide. Malaria may be a serious threat, but with the right prevention and treatment measures, we can work together to eliminate this disease. By raising awareness and taking action, we can save lives and protect communities from the devastating effects of malaria. It is also important to note that while malaria can be treated, severe cases can be life-threatening. 
This is why early diagnosis and prompt treatment are critical to preventing complications and reducing the risk of death. Diagnosis of malaria is usually done through blood tests that can detect the presence of the parasite. It is important to get tested if you suspect you may have malaria, as prompt treatment can help prevent complications and reduce the risk of transmission. Fighting malaria at an individual level requires taking some steps to reduce the risk of infection. Here are some ways you can help protect yourself and your family from malaria. 1. Use mosquito nets. Sleeping under an insecticide-treated mosquito net every night can greatly reduce your risk of getting malaria. 2. Wear protective clothing. Wear long-sleeved shirts and pants, especially during the evening and early morning when mosquitoes are most active. 3. Use insect repellents. Use insect repellent on exposed skin and apply it frequently. 4. Eliminate standing water. Mosquitoes breed in standing water, so eliminate standing water around your home, such as in flower pots, gutters, and buckets. 5. Take anti-malarial medication. If you are traveling to an area with a high risk of malaria, talk to your healthcare provider about taking anti-malarial medication. 6. Seek prompt medical attention. If you develop symptoms of malaria, such as fever, headache, and chills, seek prompt medical attention and get tested for malaria. By taking these steps, you can help protect yourself and your family from malaria. Additionally, you can also spread awareness about malaria prevention in your community and encourage others to take these measures to protect themselves from the disease. Here are some important statistics on malaria. Malaria prevention and control is a collective effort that involves individuals, communities, and governments. By working together to implement effective prevention measures, we can reduce the burden of malaria and improve the health and well-being of communities around the world. Today, let us renew our commitment to eliminate malaria and create a brighter future for all. Join us in the fight against this deadly disease by donating to organizations that are working towards a malaria-free world. Together, we can make a difference. On this World Malaria Day, let us pledge to take action to prevent and control malaria. By raising awareness and taking action, we can eliminate this disease once and for all. Thank you for watching.